I'm leaving cybersecurity. Well, somewhat. I will be transitioning into a different position. Why am I doing that? Uh, but also, I have to say, I'll still be in tech, so I'm not really leaving cybersecurity. I never really will, because I'll always be in tech, and cybersecurity will always be or, uh, at the forefront of my decisions in this field. So, oh man, if you've been following the channel, you know I'm doom and gloom with AI, <laughs> somewhat. Um, I think it comes from legitimate, a, a legitimate place and an understanding. So I am transitioning into um, the into the data field, okay? My goal is to become a machine learning engineer. Now I've heard here and there through the grapevine, oh, you need specific data experience. And it's like, well, I'm a SOC analyst. I'm not a data analyst. They are different. They work with different tools, but I have a lot of programming projects under my belt. And I'm also currently uh, in school for a master's in computer science with a specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning. So I think I have a little bit of edge there. And especially when I come out of the program, I will be in a better place uh, to transition. But while I'm doing that, I will also be doing projects. Uh, I've currently been doing courses through Data Camp. I've done about 10 courses at this point, uh, you know, through various things like uh, understanding data engineering, understanding machine learning, machine learning end to end, uh, scikit-learn. I just took a course through uh, with, for scikit-learn. That was nasty. If you know about scikit-learn, there's a lot to unbox there. I definitely didn't absorb everything, but I definitely have a familiarity with everything that I've seen and a general understanding uh, with a little bit of moderate to deeper understanding of a few of the topics through that course, as well as pandas and NumPy, right? So I've taken all these courses so far and uh, that's outside of school. That's just for my own interest. So uh, that's what I've been doing and that's the trajectory I'm going. So why am I doing this? Uh, I just feel like I need to be on the winning team. I'm gonna be honest. Artificial intelligence and machine learning has always interested me, but I kind of always thought that it was too hard for me, the statistics and probability part, and then converting that into code. Uh, I even have a video on here uh, of why I chose cybersecurity instead of you know, software engineering, which machine learning engineer isn't exactly software engineering, you could argue that like if I'm a back-end software engineer, then it would be somewhat similar. But the tools that I work with and the packages are completely different. Um, and I, I think a lot of jobs are replaceable. And I think there's so much incentive for businesses to use those replacements, right? ChatGPT has its agent, I think for like $1,000 a month, they can assign tasks and it will go through the browser and do the task for you. And that will only get better, right? If you train the model, um, I don't know the full extent of ChatGPT's model and how trainable it is to the end user. Uh, but that being said, a company can just create their own model and teach it what to do. If you see X, do Y, Z. If you see X, do Y, Z. And if you feed it enough data, it will always have the correct output. And I think SOC analysts are, I can see them being automated sooner than later. And I would rather be a part of the group that's automating. I'm gonna be honest, right? Um, it's kind of like a, if you can't beat them, join them. Uh, and again, I have been interested in this field, but I just uh, want more security and also machine learning is a couple steps up from what I'm doing in terms of, um, I wouldn't necessarily say job prospects, but I think it's it's definitely on par with cybersecurity, SOC analyst jobs. Uh, it might even be a little bit more, I don't know all the statistics, what I've seen on the Bureau of Labor and Statistics is it is pretty similar, um, but the job security as well, okay, right? You are doing the automating, so I don't think I would really have to worry about my job being automated for some time. Um, I just 
I feel like at some point we'll we'll reach a universal income, and the start of that is going to get nasty. That's how I feel. I think governments move too slow, um, and if we start to automate things, it's going to take them a long time to implement the income. Now, there's also an argument that governments will probably create regulations around artificial intelligence so that that doesn't happen or so you know it, it stunts the growth or at least puts some kind of parameters around it um i don't know and that's part of the point i don't know i would rather just do the thing that i know is the best outcome that is, is the most is the least likely to be automated for some time um and learn a new uh discipline in this IT field as well. Uh, it's, it's been super fun to learn and develop. I've, uh, I'm currently working on a model that um, predicts if a person has diabetes, and which is the whole point of machine learning, right? You're using data uh, and putting it into a model to predict an outcome. That's the job, right? Um, so yeah, that's, that's an update for me. Uh, this channel, <laughs> I know this is like a cybersecurity channel, Forever Anonymous, currently. People in the future, uh, the name will likely be different. Uh, so, hey, just tag along for the journey if you're interested. I know people that watch this are specifically interested in cybersecurity, but you're also in the IT field, and I know most of you are. Uh, intrigued by AI and ML. So tag along for the journey. Uh, I would love to know y'all's journey, how you feel about artificial intelligence as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see ya.